This video shows you how to assemble the Compact Dynastar lubrication pump. It's one of two videos that walks you through how to disassemble and reassemble a CDS pump for maintenance purposes. Place throat seal or U-cup into the pump housing, lips downward, and place the bronze washer on top of the throat seal. Replace the inner o-ring from the retaining nut with a new o-ring and grease lightly. Likewise for the outer o-ring. Place the throat screw into the retaining nut using an allen wrench and torque to 16 foot-pounds. Grease the o-ring and place the retaining nut into the pump housing and slightly tighten. Apply a light coating of grease to the pump rod and push it into the pump housing through the hole in the retaining nut. Replace the backup ring and o-ring with a new backup ring and o-ring and lightly grease. Apply medium strength thread locking compound on threads of the extension tube. Place the extension tube over the pump rod and tighten to pump housing at a torque of 30 foot-pounds. Place the ball back into the pump piston. Apply medium strength thread locking compound on the threads of the pump rod. Place the pump piston on the end of the pump rod and tighten using wrenches. Torque to 10 foot-pounds. Replace the two backup rings and o-ring with new backup rings and o-ring and lightly grease. Place the piston bushing into the pump lower tube until seated. Place the shovel rod into the pump piston groove. Replace and lightly grease the o-ring on the lower pump tube. Slide the pump lower tube over the pump rod and connect to the extension tube. Torque to 30 foot-pounds. Place the spacer into the pump lower tube until seated. Attach the shuttle valve to the shovel rod with the notch upward. Replace the two shovel tube backup rings and the o-ring and grease lightly. Place the shovel tube into the pump lower tube and torque to 30 foot-pounds. Push pump rod down to move the shovel rod down to access the cross hole. Place an allen wrench or similar tool through the slot of the shovel tube and into the exposed cross hole to keep the shovel rod steady. Tighten the shovel piston with a 10 millimeter socket wrench, torque to three to four foot pounds. Replace the O-ring and lightly grease. Slide the tube and tube over the assembly and up to the pump housing. Tighten the flange by torquing to 40 foot pounds. Fit the pump assembly into the gear head. The retaining nut can be loosened to increase the gap. Line up the pump rod with the cutout and slide into place. Note, leave the retaining nut loose. Place two bolts into the pump assembly 
to hold the gearhead and pump assembly in place and slightly tighten the two nuts. Tighten the retaining nut with a torque wrench to 30 foot-pounds to secure. Remove the two bolts and two nuts. Set the protective cover in place and secure with bolts and nuts. Place the O-ring and attach the motor to the pump using the four bolts. Torque to 11 foot-pounds. Place the O-ring onto the check valve and then place into the pump outlet and torque to 16 foot-pounds. Plug the outlet port. Replace the pressure relief valve cartridge and torque to 8 foot-pounds. There is air located between the pump tube and the tube and tube. Remove this air by filling it with grease to prime the pump. If this is not done, the pump may lose priming during operation. Connect the refill pump to the fill coupler. Run the refill pump until grease comes out of the bottom of the tube and tube. Place the follower plate back into the tank and replace the cover and tighten tank bolts. Put the pump back into the tank through the cover and the gasket. Place the four bolts and four washers into place and tighten to 16 foot-pounds with a 5 mm Allen wrench. Reconnect the power to the system. You have now completed the second video in the Compact Dynastar series on disassembly and assembly.